data management is the subject of this next module that we're going to do. And that kind of covers the left-hand side of this same landscape that I laid out in my previous lecture. Before we get going into it, I just want to motivate a little bit. And uh, I found this article by a data scientist um, that's linked down here at the bottom. Um, pretty, pretty informative and a good collection of basically motivation for why we should care about data. And part of that article was a collection of tweets just from other kind of data science practitioners and machine learning practitioners. So this one says, one of the biggest failures I see in junior machine learning or computer vision engineers is a complete lack of interest in building data sets. While it is boring grunt work, I think there's so much to be learned in putting together a data set. Uh, it's like half the problem. Vicky Boykis did a little Twitter poll. And she said, have been extremely curious about this for a while now, so I decided to create a poll. So someone titled Data Scientist in 2019, I spent 60 plus percent of my time, 60 percent plus of my time uh, on. And the number one with like two thirds of the votes was cleaning data or moving data. So not deploying models or even analyzing data, but actually just munching data. And Matt Kelsey here says, for my last few machine learning projects, the complexity hasn't been in the modeling or the training. It's been in the input preprocessing. I uh, find myself running out of CPU more, more often than GPU. And I'm actually unsure how to optimize Python further and considering switching to C++ for the data preprocessing part of it. So that's a little bit of motivation from you know, people in the field. And in this module, we're going to cover what I think constitutes you know, caring about data. The first is, where does our data come from, the sources of it? Two is uh, labeling of the data. So for supervised learning, as we discussed, labels are important. How do we actually do that, uh, get the labels? How do we store the data we obtain? So that could be large binary files, like sound files, image files, but also the metadata about it, or metadata about user activity on our website. How should we store those? Should they be in the same place or different places? How do we version that stuff? So if we update the, da the data set either by users using our app or labeling more data, how do, you know, how do we actually version it? And then processing refers to sometimes called workflow, uh, just kind of aggregating data, converting it from one form to another, and dealing with that. <clears throat> 